inner cities and towns offer travelers and diverse types of experiences. From cosmopolitan centers to marveling resorts and maritime cities, determining the best places to visit may depend on your interest and the type of trip you're hoping to create. In the heart of the country is Toronto, Canada's biggest city and the highlight of Canada's art and cultural scene. Nearby, Niagara Falls is a must-see attraction for visitors to Canada that never is a forest. In the neighboring French-speaking province of Quebec, Montreal is known for fashion, culture, and history. In the rest, Vancouver and Victoria offer two very different perspectives on West Coast cities, but each has something unique to offer. Eastern Canada has a culture all of its own, with a rich maritime heritage and friendly people and scattered throughout the country are other popular cities and lesser known depths to explore. Now let's see the list of some of the best places to visit in Canada. Number 70, Winnipeg. This thriving city in the prairies of central Canada may not be the first image that jumps to mind when thinking about the best places to visit in Canada. But if you are traveling in summer, Winnipeg is worth a stop. Surrounded by trees, many of which glow yellow in summer with canola or sunflowers, the city is surprisingly scenic. The ports at the confluence of the two rivers is a major tourist area with a huge pork market, restaurants, and outdoor walking places, and is one of the first places tourists should visit. Also in this area is one of Canada's premier museums, the Canadian Museum for Human Rights. Within a couple of hours from the city is Grand Beach, a huge stretch of beautiful beach on the shore of Lake Winnipeg, and Whitechen Provincial Park, an area of boreal forests with lakes and rivers. People come here to camp, hike, or spend time at a cottage. Number 16. Revelstoke. Revelstoke is one of the best places to visit in Canada for adventure. Although it's a favorite destination among Albertans and British Columbians, it is still undiscovered on an international scale, making it a good place to escape the crowds associated with sightseeing destinations like Banff and Lake Louis. Beautiful mountain scenery surrounds a small town in the interior of British Columbia, but much of the appeal comes from the activities available for outdoor lovers. In winter, skiers come here to enjoy the skiing at Revelstoke Mountain Resort or to go hill skiing in the Purcell Mountains. In summer, Mountain biking and hiking are the most popular things to do. Nightlife here has been expanding over the last number of years, and you can find plenty of places to frequent after day of skiing or hiking. Number 15. Kelowna. In the interior of British Columbia is the lovely city of Kelowna. The city is a favorite spot for Canadians. Picturesquely set on the shore of Lake Okanagan and surrounded by rolling mountains, Kelowna draws tourists during the summer months when it's often to hike, golf, or enjoy drink. Renting a houseboat to explore the surrounding waters is a popular summer vacation in this area. In winter, the surrounding mountains are a hot spot for skiers. In the popular nearby ski resorts of Big White and Silver Star within easy reach. Number 14, Tofina. The unofficial 
surfing capital of Canada, the small town of Tofino on Vancouver Island is one of the most unique places to visit in Canada and draws a mixed crowd of visitors. People come here to surf, hike in the old world forest, and enjoy the beaches in Pacific Green National Park. See wildlife. shops give the town a special character. Despite the town's small size, the area feels big. With so much to see and do, you will want to plan at least a few days here. Although, it's easy to fill up a week or more. Number 13. Charlotte Town and Prince Edward Island. If you are going to visit Charlotte Town, you might as well take the time to explore the wall of province of Prince Edward Island. BEI is a summertime playground with beautiful beaches and interesting historic sites, including the fictional home of Anne of Green Gables in BEI National Park. Charlotte Town is the capital and main city but has an almost small town feel. With numerous Victorian style heritage buildings, the AI is small enough that you can see the whole island on even a short vacation. Many visitors, particularly families, rent beach houses or cottages on the AI during the summer months. Number 12. Whistler Whistler has long been known as a world-class sky destination and was the site of many of the skiing events during the 2010 Winter Olympics hosted by Vancouver. Despite this reputation, Whistler is an equally impressive and popular summer destination with hiking, biking, golfing, and many other activities on offer. The village has grown over the years and is now a wide range, high and whistle town with a great selection of hotels, restaurants, and shops. The Whistler Black Home Mountains are famous for the incredible terrain and bringing skiers from around the world. The peak to peak Vanzella, which joins the two mountains, is an 11 minute, 1.4 kilometer long ride with spectacular views and is open to skiers or non skiers year round. Number 11 White Horse. A visit to White Horse offers a chance to see life in Canada's far north. It is the capital of the Yukon and also a gateway to areas farther north, including Alaska and the beautiful Nahani National Park. The city's history dates back to the Columbia Gold Rush, when prospectors made their way through here on their road to Dawson City. Many of the city's attractions offer insight into the Gold Rush days. And beyond the city limits are some beautiful natural areas to explore. If you're lucky, the night sky will come to life with a display of northern lights. Number 10. Quebec City Like Montreal, Quebec City is loaded with history and located in the French-speaking province of Quebec. This is a provincial capital and a city with history 
came back to the early 1600s. The old buildings and clothes, all the streets, made this one of Canada's most charming capital cities. One third the size of Montreal. Quebec City is also relatively small and easy to navigate. While summer is the busy season, the famous Winter Carnival, the Carnival in Quebec, attracts huge crowds and is the city's most well-known event. Number 9. Halifax Halifax is a great city for anyone looking for an introduction to Canada's maritime provinces. The Halifax waterfront is a main tourist hub in the city. Particularly during the summer months, with a few historic buildings and plenty of activities all looking the city is the Halifax Citadel National Historic Site, one of the city's main attractions. Outside the city are a number of small coastal villages that offer a good glimpse of life in the Maritimes. One of the most famous villages is Peggy's Cove, home to the most photographed lighthouse in the Maritimes. A little further, are Lunenburg and Mahon Bay, also well worth a visit. Taking a day trip from Halifax is highly recommended. Number 8. Victoria British Columbia's beautiful capital city has a clean, small town atmosphere. Perhaps due to its island location. Set at the southern tip of Vancouver Island, the city has a mild year round climate with wet, mild winters and warm, glorious summers. Views are stunning in every location. Looking out over the harbor, south over the Strait of Duran de Fuqua to Washington State or across the mountains on mainland, British Columbia. Most of the tourist activity is focused around Victoria's Inner Harbour, where the Parliament buildings and the historic Empress Hotel are located. A stroll along the waterfront on a sunny day is gorgeous. Just outside the city centre are beaches and lovely coastal areas, as well as parks and hiking trails.